What if everything we know about space travel is wrong? Back in 1901, the brilliant inventor Nikola Tesla wasn't just dreaming of lighting up our world without wires. He was planning to beam electricity across the entire planet and even beyond. Imagine this for a moment. Instead of launching thousands of tons of heavy, toxic fuel into orbit every single time, we send something to space. We launch almost nothing. Picture a sleek, feather-light spacecraft. It doesn't have massive engines or bulky fuel tanks. Instead, it is giant, elegant metallic coils. Now, look up into the void of space. There, you see massive orbital power stations inspired by Tesla's original vision. These are solar farms the size of small countries, soaking up the sun's energy 24 sevenths. They convert this raw sunlight into powerful, focused beams of microwaves or lasers. Whether you're on Earth, the Moon, Mars, or cruising between planets, your ship doesn't need to carry any fuel at all. It simply unfurls a giant receiving antenna, like a flower opening to the sun, and drinks an unlimited wireless power straight from the sky. No more massive, explosive rockets. No more complicated refueling stops in the middle of nowhere. Want to send a cargo ship to Mars? Just point the beam and go. You could maintain full throttle for months on end. This changes everything. A trip to Mars wouldn't take six to nine long months. It could be done in just three to six weeks. The cost to launch a kilogram of payload would plummet from $10,000 to under $100. Suddenly, those wild science fiction dream space elevators, sprawling cities on the moon, and thousand ship fleets exploring the solar system aren't just fantasy anymore. They become simple engineering problems waiting to be solved. But here's the craziest part. This isn't just a dream. We already know how to beam power wirelessly. NASA was experimenting with this back in the 1970s. The Pentagon has been quietly testing it for decades. Even SpaceX filed patents for space-based wireless power systems in 2021. The technology is within our grasp. So why aren't our skies filled with these power beams? Because someone has to be brave enough to build the first tower in the sky. A new Warden glyph for the space age. An orbital megastructure crackling with limitless energy, Nikola Tesla may have been a hundred years ahead of his time. But what if we're finally ready to catch up? If you want to see trips to Mars happen in weeks, not months, hit the like button. And for more insane what-if tech scenarios, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.